Fashion always reinvents itself, so I wanted to show you a cool, chic, 1960s inspired do that you can add to your hair arsenal. Create a deep side part and section out your fringe out of the way. Sweep your hair to one side and take a quarter inch section and begin teasing at the root. Work your way from the root upwards toward the mid shaft. Try carving in your tees with C-shaped motions. Make sure to use a fine tooth comb too. And I don't really believe in using hairspray to tease. I think that damages your hair, especially if the hairspray has alcohol. Once you finish teasing the crown section, use a styling brush to smooth out the volume. Push the section up and twist it in half. You'll notice that it'll create a bump. Backpin the section using large hairpins. Give the sides a little tease and twist it to the back of your head where the other pins are. Try not to use too many pins or it's going to be a crazy little pin party. Repeat the same step on the other side. Backpinning is great because you can always hide your pins. Grab all of your hair into a ponytail and secure it with an elastic band. Take down your fringe and sweep it over to one side. I use large duckbill clips to keep it into place while I wrap the ends into the ponytail concealing the elastic band. You can skip this step if you're in a rush or if you're lazy. I know a lot of my fans are lazy. Simply back pin in the ends using small bobby pins. I used a quarter inch curling iron to curl Michelle's hair from the roots to the ends. You can leave the ponytail straight, add a beach wave, or put it into a bun. Have fun with your hair! It's your art. 